first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so in this lesson number 10 on the topic number system so now we are going to learn a very small concept called place value and a face value so friends listen here in the previous lesson that is in lesson number 9 i have told you this will be the last lesson but now because of many students were asking to teach this concept what is called as a place value and face value so that's the reason we thought of teaching this small concept as a lesson number 10 in the topic number system so friends if you take this concept in the recent competitive exams from 2016 not even one question was asked from this concept in 2009, 2012, 2013, you can able to see one question in the railway exams that is from the concept called place value. They usually give some numbers and our target is to find what is the place value for the particular number. right? So this concept is important for campus interview students if you are preparing for a college final year campus interview so most of the it sector interviews aptitude questions you can able to see a concept called a place value but if you are preparing for bank exams no this concept is not that much needed got it so now before solving a questions from this topic initially we can learn the concept called definition of place value and a face value so friends see here let me take any one number uh, 572 right let me take this as an example number 572 so here every digit got it every digit for digit number 5 digit 7 and uh, uh, that is 2 for every number for every digit of the number will have a place value as well as a face value first let me see what is called as face value see the face value of each digit in a number the face value of each digit for example if you take number 2 it has a face value so number 7 it has a face value number 5 it has some face value so what they are saying is the face value of each digit in a number is same as the digit itself for example if they ask what is the face value of 2 answer is 2 got it or not so listen carefully the face value of the number just see the face value of each digit of the number is same as the digit itself got it same as the digit itself for example if they ask what is the face value of 7 answer is 7 face value of 5 answer is 5 so face value will be easy for finding a numbers what is called as place value just listen carefully a value represents by a digit according to its position of the numbers we have learned this concept in the schooling itself so here the number two is at which place ones place yes or no number seven is tens place number five will be hundreds place similarly it goes on thousand ten thousand etc yes or no right so number two is at which place ones place number seven will be tens place number five will be hundreds place if they ask what is the place value of number 5 what you need to say is the place value of number 5 will be 5 into where the number 5 is at which position 100 is the place so into 100 is equals to 500 got it so if they ask what is the place value of 5 will be 500 if they ask what is the place value of 7 what you need to do so 7 into so 7 is at which position tens position so into 10 is equals to 70 so the place value of 7 will be 70 so similarly the place value of 2 will be 2 is at which position one's position so 2 into 1 will be 2 got it so this is called as a place value and that is called as a face value so face value is not difficult it is easy because the number itself it's called as a face value but the place value is we have learned this place value concept in the schooling itself we have to see the position of the numbers right so number two is at one's place you need to multiply by one number seven is at the tens place into ten number five is at hundreds place so into hundred if there is an another number one year where number one is at the thousands place into thousand that's it so let me take some of the questions memory based question that was asked in the previous competitive exams so that you can able to understand what is called as a place and a face value 
So now let me move on to some example question and these are the questions that was asked in the various competitive exams. So what is the place value and the face value of a boxed digit? For example, let me take question number one. So 652. So here our target is to find what is the place value for number five as well as what is the face value of number five. See here friends, first let me find what is the place value. So place and the face value. Got it? So place value, what I have told you, place value, you have to see the number is at which position. So number 2 will be 1's position, number 5 will be at 10's position. So 5 into the position 10, so 5 into 10 will be 50. So 50 will be the place value for question number 1. What is called as face value? Face value of 5 will be 5. So number itself, right? You don't want to uh, confuse anything. Number itself, it's called as a face value. Place value will be, you have to see the position of the numbers. Whether it is at tens place or hundreds place or thousand place, etc. And you need to multiply by its position and you need to write the value. It is called as a place value. Got it? Question number 2. 716. So first place value. So number 6, the box number. The number 6 is at ones place. So 6 into 1 will be 6. So 6 will be the place value. So what is called as face value? So face value of number 6 will be number 6 itself. Got it? So question number 3. So 3517. 3517. So in this our target is to find what is the place value for number 3. So number 7, ones place, tens place, hundred place, thousand place. So number 3 is at thousands place. So 3 into 1000 will be 3000. So 3000 will be the place value of number 3. So face value of number 3 will be number 3 itself. Got it? So last question 786. <coughs> so number 7 is at which position? So number 6 will be 1's position, 10's position, 100's position. So number 7 is at 100's position. So 7 into 100 will be 700. So what about the face value? So number 7 face value will be number 7 itself. That's it. It is called as a face value and a place value. Friends understood? So very simple concept, easy to. But if you are preparing for campus interview, so keep concentrating on the place value. So most of the IT sector aptitude questions, they will ask one question by giving this number what is called as a place value. Right. Similarly, they were usually, I think this was the question that was asked in railway exam. So they have given this question and our target is to find what is the place value of number 3. So similar concept question were asked in IT sector interviews, etc. But not for bank exams or not for SSC exams. Right. So first decide which exams you are going to prepare and then start learning this concept. So thank you so much for watching this video. So it's very small concept. So if you really like it, share the video to your friends, those who are preparing for the competitive exams. So thank you so much for watching it. Bye.